A few months ago, the U.S. Army reported that there were 31 M-17 handguns stolen from Fort Moore, Georgia, the U.S. Army base there. And the M-17 is the new sidearm of the U.S. Army. It's the Sig Sauer P320. It's the, well, it's the military's version uh, of that particular firearm. Uh, but they had 31 of these come up missing, uh, stolen. Now, that's a big number. Uh, that's a pretty big number. And now they're reporting kind of why or how uh, these firearms are stolen. Still, without any sort of arrests, uh, there is a $5,000 reward, by the way. But how these particular firearms were stolen um, is is kind of a no-brainer when I share this with you you're gonna be like well duh because if you think about a U.S. Army armory uh, what you're gonna have is you're definitely gonna have surveillance uh, you're definitely gonna have locked doors uh, you're definitely gonna have safes involved and all sorts of locking mechanisms um, and you're probably gonna have 24-hour guards as well uh, with that being said with that being said We kind of took a look also at other guns missing from the U.S. Army because when we heard, and we're going to talk about how these things were stolen, when we heard, we thought, well, how is it you're not missing more guns? <laughs> but as it turn out, turns out, they are. They, they are missing more guns because ultimately, just this last year, what you got is you also have a 50 caliber machine gun missing from the Joint Base, uh, Lewis McCord in Washington. Uh, you also have an M18 handgun missing from the Marine Infantry Unit in Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Uh, you also have an M240B machine gun missing from Fort Irwin, California. And now it makes so much more sense while all, how, how in the world is the U.S. Army losing, or really the military because it's the Marines as well, how are they losing so many guns? Well, as it turns out, according to the U.S. Army, how this took place was unlocked doors combined with sleeping guard combined with malfunctioning surveillance. Now, just think about that for a second. In order to get in there and get 31 handguns, you would have to have <laughs> doors unlocked, guard asleep, and malfunctioning surveillance. Now, in order to have all that, because to me, when, when you tell me that, hey, 31 handguns were missing because of unlocked doors, sleeping guard, and malfunctioning surveillance, that sounds to me like an inside job. It does. I mean, how would you even get in the base in the first place? Like, of course it's an inside job. But I don't mean like, like it was a U.S. Army soldier or a personnel i mean like inside the armory like how do you pull off a, a, a knock door a sleeping guard and malfunctioning surveillance i mean how do you even pull that off like that sounds like oceans 11 to me like that it, it clearly took a lot of effort to make this thing happen um and i i don't know or just it also makes sense in my head that somebody just stumbled across the perfect situation at the perfect time. Um, you know, maybe somebody came in to say hi to their friend and noticed he was asleep, noticed the door was open, and noticed the surveillance system wasn't working and thought, man, I'm going to go grab a couple of those guns. And while I'm at it, might as well get 31 of them. Um, so I, I'm going to argue that it was either a, a deep inside, meaning somebody working in the armory did it, or somebody just stumbled across a, a rare, rare opportunity that, you know, it's kind of like walking into the bank right as they close and they left the door open and the guard fell asleep and they left the vault open <laughs> and you notice their surveillance system was off and you're just like, well, might as well. Um, is all I can think, you know, but, but it's at least they're willing to say that, you know, Hey, we know it was because of unlocked door sleeping guard and, uh, malfunctioning surveillance. So, uh, there you go, man. Uh, 31, uh, M 17 is missing. Uh, any thoughts or insight on that? Definitely put it below. Do you want to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel? Hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. 
greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out, that link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. <laughs>